Helicopter Air Ambulance Service is coming to Marquette General Hospital. They're partnering with Valley Med Flight to provide faster transportation for trauma patients. A permanent landing location is in the works by the hospital and TV6's Jennifer Perez joins us live from the proposed location. Jennifer? Steve, I'm at the intersection of 7th and Magnetic Street, and as you can see behind me is where MGH plans to build a helipad for their medical chopper. It's right across from the emergency department. Soon, this Valley Med Flight helicopter will be transporting patients to Market General Hospital. Hospital officials say a service like this is beneficial because the UP is a rural area and their mission is all about saving lives. The sooner they seek treatment, the better off. The sooner they get the treatment, the better off. That translates into better long-term outcomes for these patients. While the helicopter will be housed in Escanaba, it'll be available to transport trauma patients like those suffering a heart attack or a stroke and can respond to motor vehicle accidents 24 seven. This helicopter has the capabilities to reach any point, any facility in the Upper Peninsula, uh, every, every area in under one hour. Um, obviously, the closer the city is to where we're based in Escanaba, the, the quicker it will be. Valley Med Flight and MGH are planning to construct a helipad right behind the current ED as a permanent landing spot for quicker access to the hospital. That location is on the corner of 7th and Magnetic Streets. While there's a new helicopter service that MGH will be providing for their patients, some residents are concerned about the noise. Talk of this new helipad raises questions and concerns from homeowners in the area. First of all, safety. I think the fact that uh, you're landing a helicopter in a residential neighborhood, uh, tons of traffic. Officials say their plan to build the helipad on their property across from the current ED is safe. The material that's used to construct the helipad and the processes that are used uh, eliminate much of those concerns as far as debris and whatnot being kicked up. The helipad is developed and, and structured in such a way as to limit that as much as possible. Now, as I mentioned before, a number of residents in the area are concerned. You can see how close houses are to the site of where the helipad will be constructed at. But for now, uh, hospital officials will be working with the city to obtain a permit for the construction. It's estimated to cost right around $50,000 and services begin this Monday, but they'll temporarily be working and operating out of the Ferry Event Center. Reporting live in Marquette, Jennifer Perez, TV6 News. All right, thanks a lot, Jennifer.